Today, I want to talk about an interesting 23C new feature, the fuzzy match data quality operator. Now, us humans don't need it because we can usually work out what people want, even when they don't ask for it correctly. But computers aren't that clever. A not uncommon requirement is to search a set of rows using strings where you want an approximate match. You don't want to miss selecting rows because of minor differences that don't impact on the meaning of the data. This might mean that you want to ignore case or diacritic characters or perhaps spelling variations. Of course, your NLS settings are crucial here. Yet some languages use letters that don't even exist in other languages. Yet if your client is configured to use a Scandinavian character set, it's going to have trouble searching for rows inserted by a client using Japanese. But let's assume we've got past those. We need a way to search strings for an approximate match rather than exact. Twenty-three C introduces a capability that may help the data quality operators. These build on functionality introduced a few years ago with the UTL match package. First, we have fuzzy match. This uses various pattern matching algorithms to compare strings and score them for how similar they are. The algorithms can be tuned to your requirements and different algorithms will be appropriate for different data sets and workloads. Probably the most widely used ones will be the Levenstein distance algorithm and the yarrow winkler similarity algorithm. These are both well documented elsewhere. The second data quality operator is phonic encode. This is based on pronunciation. The closest two strings are when spoken, the higher the score. I'll describe that one another day. So beginning with fuzzy match, let's look at a simple example of a problem and how it can help. Consider searching a table that stores people's names where data may have been entered with varying degrees of accuracy. I'll just drop the table and then recreate it. Create table names, first name and surname. Now, I'm going to insert first some variations on the name Paul Cezanne. There it is the way perhaps it should be spelt. And then we've got one that misses the diacritic, lowercase and uppercase. All acceptable variations to us humans. We know they all mean the same person. And now I'll insert some variations on the Scottish name Mackay. Mackay with MAC, Mackay with MC, then some minor variations. So what have I got in my table? These eight rows. A possible problem is this. Select star from names where surname equals Cezanne, spelled correctly. Only one match, but I might well want them all. This particular example, there's been a workaround for several releases. If I set the session parameter and I sort to generic base letter, that will get around the problem of case sensitivity and diacritics. I can then set another session parameter, NLS comp to ANSI. That instructs Oracle to compare strings using the NLS sort rules rather than the ASCII values. And now when I run this query, it works. I get all four rows. But that doesn't help with my Scottish surname. 
select star from name to a surname equals Mackay, I only get the one back. And that's where our 23C new feature comes in, the fuzzy match function. Both the Levenstein algorithm and the Arrow-Winkler algorithm have variations, but the end result is that they compare strings and return a score for similarity. For example, select surname, fuzzy match. In the syntax, the algorithm I want to use, Levenstein, the, sting, um, the, the search string, Mackay, and then the column that I want to match it against. I've got another example, fuzzy match, this time using the yarrow winkler algorithm to compare Mackay to my surname column. Now if I run that, interesting result. Now, when I compare Mackay to the variations on Cezanne, Levenstein says no resemblance, zeros which is probably what you want. Yarrow Winkler does find a bit of a resemblance for all except the very last example, probably based on the lowercase a that does occur in both Mackay and my Cezanne variations. The Mackay example is more realistic. Both algorithms mark the perfect match at 100. Then Mackay comes in second, 84% and 89%, with both algorithms. The other variations, well, Yarrow Winkler is a bit more forgiving of those than Levenstein. And that's where you would need to consider what algorithm is appropriate for your requirements, and of course, what percentage match is considered acceptable. Well, how can you use it? Here's an example. Select surname from names where fuzzy match, Levenstein, Mackay, is greater than 80%. And it's perfect. I get the two results that are most likely to be confused. Of course, I've constructed this example to give the result I want. You will have to tune the algorithm and your usage of it according to your data and your needs. To conclude, near match searches are easy for humans, but they're hard for computers. The 23C data quality operators are potentially a major development, a way to force approximate matches. I've demonstrated fuzzy match We'll look at phonic and code another day. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.